1,186 deaths from the pandemic in this country. And the second milestone that we learned just before we went on air, the U.S. now has surpassed China in coronavirus wait, wait, wait. cases. We now have more than any other country in the wait, world, 81,836 in the U.S. and sadly rising. And something with that in mind, as we've done right here in each of these town halls, I want to start off just by asking what you think is the most important thing Million. that you learned this week that you didn't know before, and the most important thing that we still don't know. Well, we're certainly getting an idea of just, just how explosive this growth is. I mean, we can keep anticipating this, but to see the numbers, the first time we did a town hall, Anderson, 60 people were diagnosed. And that was close to 90,000. We know that most Americans are settling into this new reality. Uh, doing their best to I think a as, as okay. We also know and, and confirm now that younger people can also be very much I at risk. You. I think for a long time the narrative was this is something that just affected the elderly, but 20% of those hospitalized Anderson between the ages of 20 and 44. Something good that we learned this week is that the virus isn't mutating much. That's good because it's not going to become more lethal likely, and it's also going to be good for a vaccine if the virus doesn't mutate much. We still don't know when exactly this is going to end. I don't see it. We don't know. I don't uh, see it. Exactly, okay. Uh, how, you know, when this pullback, when people are going to be allowed to go back to work, all we know is it's still weeks away, but there isn't an end in sight. This isn't uh, going to last forever, Anderson. Uh, well, again, what we just reported a moment ago, that the U.S. has now passed China for the most reported coronavirus cases. Many believe the FBI is in the city. I want to go to first to Erica Hill, who's at Elmhurst uh, Hospital in New York City, where Mayor Bill de Blasio called the epicenter of the epicenter of the city's uh, outbreak. Uh, Eric, uh, what's the latest? Uh, yeah, he did, and there's been a lot of attention paid to this hospital because of what's coming in here, and also because of what is coming out of this hospital. What we're hearing in terms of accounts, medical professionals telling us at CNN earlier today, they are...